I want to show you how to replace that old deck on your trailer without having to cut and weld a part of the frame channel. I know there's a lot of you guys out there who have flatbed trailers that have been made with 16 foot lumber that was welded into the frame when it was originally made. Over the years the boards have rotted and need to be replaced. The only answer I've heard of was to cut the channel that holds the boards, then insert the boards, then weld it back together. Well I want to show you how to insert your deck without any cutting or welding. I replaced my deck by myself with just a few hand tools. However, getting a friend to help makes the job go easier. As with all projects, remember safety. In this task, you run the risk of pinch fingers and splintered wood. Also, you will be using a jack to bend the board, so be careful not to get hurt. I went out and bought eight 2 by 10 by 16 treated boards from the lumber yard. I had to cut off one inch to make my boards fit exactly. I was able to angle slide five of the boards into the trailer channel with no problem, but the last three need to be bent and then slid into place. So the tools you'll need to do that are a pry bar, a large hammer, a jack of some kind, and counterweights. I use cement blocks. Set your board in place so it fits into the rear trailer channel slot. Place your jack on the ground about one third of the distance up from the inserted board in. Now place a counterweight at the other end of the board. Now slowly jack the board up. The board will start to bow. Check a few times as you jack the board to see when the weighted end will fit into the other slot. You may need to press down the board with your hand and block it up. Next lower the jack and the board will slip into place. This method works fine for boards 6 and 7 on your deck. Now use your pry bar and hammer to move the boards into place. Now for that eighth and last board. You need to place your jack on the trailer deck. Again, place it about one third up from the fitted end. Make sure your jack rests on a frame member of the trailer to allow for good support. You can see in the photo I made a mark where to set my jack. I need to raise the weighted end of the board in order to get my jack under it. But once that's done, I proceed to bend the board just like the last two. Just a few more tips. Newly purchased boards seem to work better because they are still sappy and springy. Also, when you bend your last three boards, do each one in the outermost open slot on your trailer. That way, when the board starts to creep over or walk away from your jack, the trailer frame can keep the board in line. Once your board gets seated, then you can move them into the correct position. Good luck and be safe.